What is going on, my mad people? Hope you guys are having a fantastic, lovely Mother's Day. Hope you guys give your mom all the love she needs and deserves. Well, further than that, let's get on this review of My Hero Academia, episode 6. And today's topic mainly are the characters, man. Because My Hero Academia has so many colorful characters, it's hard to keep up with them. So therefore, I'm only going to talk about the main ones. So far, Deku Midoriya himself had made two good friends so far, and that is Lita and Uruku. Okay, Lita sounds like he was going to be a guy that was going to be on Deku's ass the whole entire season, but turns out he's an earnest man who just has high standards and everybody. And it seems like he underestimated Midoriya from the very beginning, but now he's starting to respect him. And that's good, so he has his right hand man. Second is Uruku. Isn't she the most sweetest? heroine you've ever seen oh my god she is so freaking sweet her freaking outfit a superhero outfit oh my god it's adorable it's pink it's just beautiful i love her and then finally there's the salty the saltiest guy i've ever seen i mean no lie this guy's absolutely without a doubt the most saltiest rival in shonen history i mean you have naruto sasuke goku and vegeta and so on it's our fourth but they have never seen such saltiness as this dude. Kancha is just such a salty little bitch and he needs just to grow up. But yet again, at the end of this episode, you understand why he's salty. He can't stand Deku for the main reason is that Deku always seems to be scared. But deep down, Kancha knew that Deku was made, made for something better. Because as he was looking at him, he was seeing that scared look in his face. And no matter how scared Deku was, he would always stand up to him. So that means Kachin saw the potential that Midoriya had the whole entire time. He was just mad that Midoriya didn't see it himself. He couldn't stand how Midoriya kept putting on that fake scared front. But deep down inside, he was filled with so much strength. So probably on a long stretch here, people. Kacha knew what Midoriya was made of from the very beginning and tried to keep him like that the whole entire time. Kinda messed up, but the again it makes sense at the same time, so. Hey, finally, it is up with their teacher, Iziwa. This dude has an amazing quirk of canceling other quirks, now where he has dry eyes, and he doesn't like using it for a very long time. I guess that's the reason why he looks so tired, his eyes are always open, I guess. And if he ever blinks, the ability goes off or on. So that's a very, very interesting power. And the way he did the exams is kind of messed up, man. Because turns out, even though he said it was a lie, he punished other kids, expelled them. I guess his own way of being kind. He didn't want someone to be midway to their dreams, only to knock down when they're almost there. That would kind of suck, so I guess it's best to knock them down during the first level than have them work all the way up just to go back down. That would suck. In a way, it's kind of cruel, but again, it makes sense. No, anyways, right now it was Deku between Deku and Ketchup. And of course, Oroku. It seems like Oroku's going to be a big role in this series, and she's going to be with Ketch, um, Deku the whole entire time. And I can't wait to see. I can already see the fans making fan art of shippings of these two already. What are you going to call it? Um, I just got the real question. What are you going to call the ship? I can already see it already. The fan art, the names, the Dojins. <laughs> the freaking Dojins, man. Not to mention Frog Girl. Actually, I've been seeing some Dojins of Frog Girl already. And, oh boy, you know we're going to see why Frog Girl is actually the best girl in the show. But for now, let's talk about... <laughs> Oroku and her special quirk and how it can actually just be zero gravity, which is pretty cool. So it seems like they're doing this hero villain thing. And so far, I can't wait to see what happens next, man. Because Deku's putting down the moves on Ketchup. Because the thing about Deku is, even though he didn't have a quirk in the beginning, he analyzed everybody's quirk who had potential of being a hero. And he analyzed Ketchup. And because of that, he knows all of Ketchin's moves. So Ketchin's gonna be one hell of a pickle here. And it's gonna be entertaining to see these two fight, baby. I didn't expect him to see them fight so soon, though. But hey, 
I think it's good for fans to bring on that hype. So anyways, I love this episode. I hope you guys did too. If you like this video, please rate, like, comment, and subscribe. Share if you could. I'll be much obliged. This is Marathon Anime. Sign out.